Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back again. Uh, it's been a long time since I did a video. As you guys can tell, it's a bit of a new neighborhood that I'm in right here. A uh, new house back here as well. So I've moved. Uh, it's a long time coming. We finally moved in, I think, and moved out of our other places. But um, we're in the house now, and I wanted to make a video about some new changes going on in the channel. So as you guys know, the last video I made, uh, I test drove a GMC AT4. Well, um, I looked at trading uh, the Tremor in on that, decided not to, uh, kept the Tremor, really liked the truck. Um, however, I worked at the dealership now, I work at a Ford dealership, and um, the Ford dealership saw my truck every day and uh, wanted to make me an offer on it, and they did, and they made me an offer I couldn't refuse on the Tremor. So I ended up trading the Tremor in, but uh, I needed to figure out what vehicle I wanted to trade in. Well, there was a vehicle that I walked by every day five times a day in the showroom that they've had there for a few months. And uh, I, I just couldn't take it any longer. I had to have it. And so what I did was I traded the trimmer in on this new truck. It was the leftover 2022. And you know what? Let me just show you guys what it is. I'm tired of talking about it. Here we go. There it is, guys. That's the new truck. That is the 2022 F-150. It is a Black Widow package. Uh, this truck right here has a six inch lift, 22 inch tires, 35 inch BFG all terrains. There's a whole list of stuff this truck has and I'll list it down uh, in the picture here in a minute. I'll let you guys see what it is. However, uh, I will tell you that it is nothing short of amazing. <laughs> I've been driving it now for a few days and a week or so and uh, I love it absolutely love it so let's take a better look at it, okay all right guys so let's kind of do an overview on my new Black Widow 2022 F-150 this truck starts out uh, as an XLT um, it has the FX4 package on it uh, it gets shipped off and ordered a special order for for um, Black Widow trucks gets shipped off to them they do the modifications and then they sell it through the dealership as a new sale so since it's still considered a new vehicle, I was able to get my Z plan pricing on the F-150 itself. Since I'm an employee of the dealership, uh, I'm actually the service manager there, uh, I, get, um, I get a discount on the Black Widow package. So not only did I get the Z plan price on the truck, I got the discount on the Black Widow package, and I also got $6,500 in rebates since it's a leftover 2022 and I am a retired military veteran. So that's all the discounts that I got. Oh, and by the way, they really wanted me to get this truck, so they threw in special financing. So yes, the truck is financed. Truck uh, completely without any discounts or anything. Sticker price on the Black Widow truck that you see here is $89,500, $89,500. So uh, I got a pretty good discount on all that stuff and special financing. And they threw a great deal on to me at the, on the trimmer that I couldn't pass up. So again, let's do a basic walkover on this truck. Like I said, it starts off as an XLT with the FX4 package, and then it gets the six inch lift. Now, I don't quite know if it's a proprietary lift or what. Um, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to take an examination on this truck to see exactly what parts and pieces they did use. Uh, I think that's might be just their proprietary six inch spacer lift uh, with uh, some uh, knuckles. So it's got the 22 inch Black Widow wheels that you see down here and also has the red Black Widow caliper covers. Uh, on the side also you get the Black Widow badge right here and the Black Widow vent panel. Up top you get the Black Widow uh, hood vents and they say black widow on them right there they are i do believe functional i'll have to open the hood here and check it out black widow across the top there on the front you get the black widow grill which has the white trim pieces here and here as well as the black widow badge down below and of course it says black widow those tires are pretty wide as you can see there uh, this is the led headlights and markers it does have the steps that are right there 
and it does come with the fender flares. These fender flares are painted to match. They're the non-rivet style there. Uh, also, this truck, if you can see here, I'll show you. It says, if you can barely read it there, but it says Gibson. It's got the Gibson exhaust on it, okay? Sounds really, really good. We'll start up here in a minute, let you hear it. It comes with the tailgate step from Black Widow. They custom order these with certain packages. They always have the Black Widow, uh, always orders the step because they know they're gonna lift it and it's gonna be tall. Also comes with the uh, sliding, power sliding rear window right there. And the cleats in the side of the bed there. Let's open it up so you guys can take a look on the inside. We'll see the back first. This is what it looks like. Yes, the puppy can jump up in there herself. How nice. Uh, but it's got the uh, the really nice gray. Get down. Come on. Come on. It says it looks really good up here. I really like it. So does she, obviously. Come on, baby. Get down. Come on. There you go, girl. All right. So let me show you the front. It does have the Black Widow um, skid, rocker skids right there. The rocker and entry panel plates. It's got the B&O system. It's got the huge 12 inch dash, 12 inch screen. The gauges you can see there are Black Widow as well. Got Black Widow gauges, as well as the Black Widow embroidered headrest. These are not the premium leather upgraded seats. However, these are leather seats. The truck came as cloth. They put leather in it. They embroidered the headrest, but the, there is another upgraded leather seat that has the uh, baseball stitching in it that this doesn't have, which I'm glad because that is pretty busy. This does have the white, um, it does have the white um, stitching though in the seats itself. So let's pop that hood so you can see. All of the um, Black Widow trucks, I do believe all of them come with the 5.0 motor, okay? This does also have the hood struts. Oh, there we go. Also has the hood struts stock, um, not functional. Obviously the hood vents are not functional. We see that here, okay? Not functional. They look as sweet as hell though. But yes, it has the 5.0 motor right there. I think 500 horsepower, 5, 410, or sorry, 400 horsepower, 410 torque, something like that. So um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. So the main reason for this video today is I am going to be doing the first modification. Well, Okay, scratch that second modification. First mod I did was took off some things from the trimmer that I had like these pull tabs or these um, grab handles I put on the back and then the, um, the first aid kit over there. So that's the first thing I did because I had the stuff from the trimmer. Uh, a lot of stuff from the trimmer I couldn't sell or I couldn't, um, I couldn't re reuse. So I just took it off and sold it. But I'm gonna be putting in this Rough Country rubber mat. I had one like this in the trimmer, if you guys can remember. Uh, and I liked it so much, super cheap, it's like $79. And it fits in the back of the F-150. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be cutting that off and putting it in there because I do not have the time nor the money to have this line X. I don't wanna have it down for a couple of days while I'm trying to move and go back and forth to work. So I'm just gonna put the bed mat in there also have a tonneau cover coming and some other parts and pieces. So stay tuned for that. Lots coming for this truck, so stay tuned. Let's cut this bad boy up and lay it in there and uh, let the sun get to it and let it flatten out. All right, so there it is. It's got to flatten out a little bit. I put it in here, the heat and the... Uh, temperatures hopefully we'll level that out i can put some heavy stuff up there as well but it's something small something inexpensive really nice though it's functional um, obviously i got my support bar there and then my straps for now but if you remember on the trimmer i had the toolbox on the side the swing away carrier i got another one of those on order for this truck i want to put it on the passenger side because the driver's side has the 2.4 kilowatt our two kilowatt max gas uh, generator portion there, right there. Turn it on button. Uh, so there, there you go. 120 volt. So 
I don't want to put anything over on that side. This also has the bed lighting. Push this button and it comes on. I don't want to put it anywhere on that side to cover it up. So I'm going to put the swing away carrier on the passenger side. Also got coming for this truck, the uh, front and rear gauge, I just sorry, the uh, badge overlays. This one on the back is going to be white with black Ford lettering. The one on the front is going to be black with white Ford lettering. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, I'll do some more shots of the truck as well, but thank you. Make sure you subscribe. Have a great day.